sharing all the hazards and horrors of war, but none of its honors, what is being done for the thundering herd when home on furlough? What does the long-suffering army mule do with a 24-hour leave, plenty of transportation, but no gal? Or the drink-shunning camel, isn't he entitled to a little fun when he goes to town? The sentry dog, partner of every peril, rates entertainment when he leaves his post at the front. And it looks like this might be it. Hey, what is this, anyway? This is the cage door canteen! Yes, sir, an animal show exclusively for army animals, with mere humans tolerated only at rehearsals. And every creature preparing for their own show, from a zoological hamlet to Mother Goose in person. Just think of appearing before all those heroes from the front, Mother Goose. Aren't you thrilled? Thrilled? I'm all good, Thrilled! Talent is assembled, like the war itself, on a global basis. And here from China is a pair of blue-eared pheasants. These uh, dismal-looking fowls will never put a can-can in the canteen. Uh, what is your sad specialty in the show? We are the singing monkeys. The polar bear, mighty monarch of the Arctic wastes, unchallenged and ferocious, shows how he'd treat the Japs if he were back home in the Aleutians. He's so tough and hard-boiled that he glows in 60 degree below zero weather. And he eats ice because he loves it and it keeps his powerful jaws snapping. He's booked to break the ice at the canteen show and heat it too, I guess, flavored with rock salt. Now you just love it, don't you? I'd much rather have a hot fudge sundae. Simeon Cage, we must go to find the stars of past vegetation, that is, uh, sleight of hand experts. With four hands and a tail, fairly champions. And here's the star of them all, the jungle king of jugglery, who can do tricks with all four hands tied behind him. Now watch him. Yeah, a regular pagan's favorite. Tiki little cut, you know? The life of every party in the aviary, a scintillating wit on wings, is undoubtedly the brilliant bonehead of Australia. His stories just panic the buzzards, and vultures devour his spicy humor like the choicest tidbits. Uh, say, bonehead, did you hear the latest one about the moron? Uh, pardon me, but, uh, uh what's a moron? proportions, the Andean Lama is in the 4F classification, but his cousin the camel qualifies from Casablanca to Cairo. He's been pushed around so much he doesn't know where he's going. What will you do at the canteen? Canteen? Isn't it the road to Morocco? Cocky here is our master of ceremonies. Introducing? All right, never mind. This is just a rehearsal. Oh, come on, chum. Let's see what you can do on a hot perch. Now they're both in the corner. 
Then at the center of the ring again exchanging blows, Jake throws a hard right to Tim's mouth. And Tim comes back with a haymaker to Jake's chin. Or is there an uppercut to Tim's chin? Tim gives a right to the left. I mean, a, a left and the right. Now Tim is down. He's up. And now Jake is down. And then at the center of the ring, and there are six straight rights to jaw. Uh oh, it looks like Jake is out on third. And I mean, Tim wins by a nose. The busiest of all birds ever since this war began is the stork. Canteen or no canteen? How about it, old Dighty Toter? You enjoying life these days? I'm having a wonderful time. Symbol of invincibility, the American eagle peering unafraid into the future. Building for all time its lofty nest for liberty's fledgling. Yes, sir. I'm feathering my nest with war bonds. Well, Cocky, who are you batting for this time? You go ahead, but it better be good. The three little sisters. Not so fast! Can sell it to the 